Mr. Wade here. I'm here back at Lone Fir Cemetery. I can't get that right, but I will one day. Lone Fir Cemetery. I'm out here in Portland, Oregon. Now, I've been doing some researching, right, about different graves out here. A few months back, I came out here and I did a video and I ran across Dr. Hawthorne's grave, correct? Now to remind you who he is, Dr. Grave, out here in Lone First Cemetery, he is the actual co-founder of the Oregon Hospital for the Mentally Insane. Yes, the Mentally Insane. Now my goal out here is to find different graves of some of the patients. Now the patients have been covered throughout the years I did some research to find out exactly the location. Maybe Mr. Way to get lucky and actually get the location of some of these covered graves or the area of the asylum patients that are out here. Um, also, there's a couple other graves I want to go by. I also read about Lone Fir Cemetery having the very first person to be actually put into the grave out here. I located him. Hope I can find his grave. Another grave I'm going to look for are other people that done some things that wasn't quite right out here in Portland. Kind of crazy stuff, but definitely we're going to have an adventure out here at Lone Fir Cemetery. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram. Mrs. Crime, she's out here somewhere as usual. We will catch up with her a little bit later. But stay tuned, enjoy the sights of Lone Fir Cemetery and enjoy everything. Stay tuned. Bye. Okay, so this first thing you see here, this is actually called Roses of Old Oregon. It's called In Presenting This Garden of Oregon's First Rose Blooms in Memory of the Pioneer Women of Old Oregon. We extend to Multnomah County sincere appreciation for the cooperation and interest they have shown. Deep, right? These are all the flowers and roses of the Oregon Trail. So this is one of the areas they have over here in Lone Fir Cemetery. So it's a respect of all the roses of the Oregon Trail. A lot of history here, Lone Fir Cemetery. A lot of history. As we see, the cemetery is huge, right? In fact, I just read that uh, I should have noted earlier that this place, Lone Fir Cemetery, was actually came about 1855. 1855. Now there was other cemeteries that were before this that were actually made. But they said this one having a more softer ground, they actually close the prior cemeteries and the locations and make everyone come here. So they brought everybody here because of the soft sands or dirt, whatever you want to call that. But this place here is uh, another big, uh, another big expedition for us. So, I've been here for about 10 minutes, and uh, 
definitely. I'm always amazed here at these cemeteries, right? And I know I've been here a few times. Very first time was a total mess up. I just was just happy to be here and didn't hardly film anything. I doubt if that even got uploaded, <laughs> but I'm still looking for that one. But just note that we bring the cemeteries to you guys. I read about different things. I try to get out here the best I can with my work schedule to come out here and make this channel what it is, right? Tombstone Whispers. Subscribe if you haven't. Follow us. But um, I mentioned some graves earlier that I'm going to look for it. I'm going to find because I got plenty of damn time to find it. Yesterday was Father's Day, of course. And here I am Monday out here at the cemetery with Mrs. Crime bringing it to you. So hope you guys enjoy this. I'm steady looking for the, for, the, for the plots, the sections, everything. But I will find it. Stay tuned. Now, if you look here, do you see who I see? Yes. Right there. Mrs. Crime. She's at the car changing shoes. Now, in fact, who changes shoes here? at a cemetery. Well, Mrs. Prime does because she has special shoes she wear. She want to get dirty. But we're going to catch up with her and see how she's doing. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm at a grave now. It's in memory of a ASA Lovejoy. Now, this name stood out with me because on my research, I read about this person of Lovejoy, correct? Now, right here is Lovejoy's grave. I'm gonna to read to you what it says. Check this out. So, it says, endure the adventures of the plains and mountains, and here, beside the Willamette chose and wisely developed the site of the greatest city of the Columbia Valley afterward, holding many offices of public trust and passing with esteem of all. It says erected by his friends in 1943. Damn, erected. But anyways, this is one of your founders of the Oregon Trail. And previously I did a video or on this video here, I showed the flowers of the Oregon Trail. There's a section for the, the women of Oregon. So they went through very deep. But this one here is called the Oregon Trail, of course, same thing, 1843. So he was a founder of Portland, the actual state that me and Ms. Crime are in right now, a city of Oregon, Portland. This is grave right here. So this is the grave of the founder of Portland. Portland, Oregon. ASA L. Lovejoy, 1808 to 1882. The founder of Portland, Oregon. All right, Mr. Wade, Mrs. Crime, bring it to you. Stay tuned. 